Okay, so you got music. You're flowing. Now you need some money because uh, music takes money. You have to promote it or people won't actually hear it and that sucks. So let's talk about how you get an investor for your music because that's a good one. Tip of the day. Hey, let's get right to the point here. You need money. I need money. Send me money. PayPal me, bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, seriously, uh, Bradley, Deniston, PayPal me. Um, but I want to talk about an investor. I want to talk about how you get money for your music uh, and some really creative ways to get money for your music. So definitely watch this all the way through. I know you guys are like, oh, I'm bored. I can't think too much for like seven seconds. Fuck you. All right. Just pay attention. I'm trying to get you money. All right. So, uh, your music's going to come out. You're going to be like, Hey man, uh, here's my music. It dropped. It's dope. Go check it out on Instagram. You're going to post it. You're going to do what you do. Um, but the first thing I, I think that is probably the most important thing with dropping music is having a budget set aside, right? Uh, are you going to spend $500 on your song? Are you going to spend 1500, 5,000? Cause you're a baller, right? Whatever it might be, you're going to need that money. You're going to need that money to keep coming in. Right. And then one day you want to operate in the black, which is getting out of debt basically. And that's how all businesses kind of run. So how are you going to get an investor? How are you going to sell anybody on your music? Uh, the first thing is obviously have great music, right? So put the money up or get someone to take a split on the mixing, the production, the mastering, uh, but get a professional. Don't just get your buddy that's been doing it for a year, three years, whatever. He says he's hot and he's dope and he's got all his crack plugins. It's not really how the music industry works. Uh, sometimes you get a one-off, get some kid, get some luck, all good. But um, for the most part, we want a longevity in our career. We want uh, years. We want 5, 10, 15, 20. I want to grow old making music on my keyboard, right? And I hope you do too. So one once you get a couple uh, songs together, I say three to five is probably a really good number. Um, you have a project, right? It's sort of like I'm going to release an EP of three songs or five songs or I'm going to release singles one after another. Uh, you need to get together a pitch. That's a really important aspect of getting an investor. Think you're going into the Shark Tank. Uh, I'm sure you've seen the show, right? And they're going, hey, what do you got for us? And you're like, hey, man, I got some fire music, man. They're like, OK, what? What do you need? What do you want? How much money are you looking for? What are you going to do with the money? How is that money going to be spent? Why do you need it, right? Do you need it to blow up some portion that's already working? Are you just needing money to just dabble with and go spend and blow? You know, an investor is going to want to know an actual game plan that you have. Um, so a lot of the times you got to prove the strategy works. Uh, hey, we've been doing this. I've gotten this many streams. It's brought in this much money through DistroKid Mechanicals. I've gotten this off my uh, PROs. This is the kind of money that we're generating. Uh, here's where our fan base is. We've grown followers. We've grown streams. We've grown PR and all that stuff, right? You have to show the numbers. You have to show the behind the scenes strategy to this stuff. And once you do, I think uh, the first place to look for an investor is somebody that you already know. I wouldn't go to a bank. I wouldn't go to some person you don't know that's like, yeah, man, I'll be your investor. I would go find like friends, family, um, colleagues, you know, people that you know that would want to maybe do business with you because that's really what you're doing when you're asking for an investor and always take more than you think you're going to need. Uh, that's a really big and important part of, of getting money from an investor. Um, even taking a loan out, right? A lot of the times what people do is they go, oh, I'm just going to take just enough, just what I need. <laughs> and then you run out of that $5,000 really quick and you can't actually build enough momentum, enough releases, enough marketing, enough content to actually generate yourself out of the black and operate in the black or out of the red and operate in the black. So now you're stuck in this position where you owe someone $5,000. You still have no cash flow going in and then you have to stop releasing your songs at the quality that you've been releasing them at. So it's better to take 15,000 to $30,000 up front in a loan or a disbursement or whatever you're going to be doing, right? A uh, friend, family, um, you know, I don't know how you want to get the money, but that's a, those are all good ways to do it. Uh, maybe from a bank, right? A business loan even for your LLC or whatever. Uh, but definitely take more than you think you need because it's easy to take more and just pay it back, right? Then be like, oh shit, I ran out of money and now I can't actually deliver on my promise of building my business. And I've done that before and that's why I'm giving you this piece of advice, right? So 
What have we learned here? We've learned that if you want money for your music, you got to have a really solid pitch and you have to have proof of concept first, okay? That's super important. If you have no money and no way that you've made money with music in the past, and then you go to an investor asking them for money, they're either going to say, absolutely not, you're crazy, or they're going to say, hey, yeah, you're pretty cool, you're my friend, that's fine, and then you might ruin a friendship with someone, right? Because they're like, you can't pay me back and you're not making any money and your business isn't, it's not even a business. So be really careful about that. Get that pitch together, get it tight, show proof of concept. Use your own money to get proof of concept up front. Borrow money from the bank to get proof of concept. Put it on a credit card to get proof of concept. Whatever you got to do so that you can leverage that proof of concept to then get money that's bigger right? And then of course, the, uh, the biggest second tip that I have within this tip of the day is to borrow more than you think you need. So if you think you need $5,000 to roll out your next three songs the right way with PR, marketing, Facebook ads, Spotify playlisting, uh, maybe some uh, social media, you know, influencer posts, TikTok, etc. If you think you need 5,000, you probably need more like 20,000. Let's be real, right? So I usually think it's about 10 times what, uh, you know, you really need. But um, obviously, a lot of people aren't going to qualify for $100,000 or $50,000. So, you know, if you think you need 5000 try to take out fifteen, twenty thousand, 20000 um, And then whatever is left over that you didn't use, you could just pay it back to the bank or the loan, right? So that's it. Hopefully this is really helpful. If you really like this, uh, definitely share this stuff. It, it helps us a lot. And if you, uh, you know, smash the like button, do all the social media stuff to help us out, get the algorithm out there and, and just get this information to people that really need it, right? The independent artists out there. So thanks for tuning in and until uh, next time, tip of the day, almost every day, baby.